Hello there, everybody. So my name's Hayden. I use he, him, his pronouns. I am actually a program assistant at Crown College, but today I'm going to be giving you a tour of Merrill. Uh, so this is Merrill College. It's a sister college with uh, Crown Merrill, and it's actually a pretty cool place to like go and study. I'm go starting right now at the Cultural Center. The Cultural Center at Merrill, excuse me. This is actually one of the few places on campus where you can get tested, COVID-19 tested. It's self-testing. Uh, you walk in and there are people to assist you with your COVID test, uh, but you are, it is self-administered and uh, yeah, it's super easy. Uh, I highly recommend if you are on campus, please make an appointment ASAP as, you know, not on a, get tested for COVID. So yeah, go ahead and get started. Okay, right here is one of the entrances to the Merrill Cultural Center. Although for COVID testing procedures, this is actually an exit. Also. Crown Merrill is one of the few places on campus that has signs! So that way is the Crown Merrill Residential Housing Office, so if you get locked out, that's where you would go. Over there is Casa Latina, where is actually a really cool study space, as well as the Merrill Library and the Charles E. Merrill Lounge. Uh, Casa Latina is actually a place to study, while the Charles E. Merrill Lounge is a place where events happen. So that's something to be noted. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Residential Housing Office and do a loop around. This is the Merrill Academic Building. It houses the Legal Studies Department, Politics Department, and LALS Studies Department. So that way you guys can meet your advisor here in non-corona times. Over here is the official entrance to the Merrill Cultural Center. Look, it's handicap accessible. Listen to the ending. So this is the official entrance to the Merrill, to the Cultural Center at Merrill. Uh, we commonly call it the Cultural Center instead. Over here, it's what's called Baobab Lounge. It's actually a really cool study space, as well as got a piano, and it's occasionally where they do writing tutoring. So inside here is Baobab Lounge, and behind, that's actually Baobab Lounge. Behind that door is what's called the Writing Center. So there's two separate parts in this building. So at Merrill, they have some really lovely murals and art painted by previous students. I'm also gonna show you guys what's called the Merrill Moat, which is really cool more entrances to the cultural center. These are actually storage. Bathrooms! So this is actually what goes upstairs. So upstairs here are offices to tech crew and other faculty offices. There are multiple refillable water stations here at UCSD. It's actually super useful. So this is another entrance to the writing center. As you can see, the separate room from Baobab. Right over here is the back entrance to the Crown Merrill Dining Hall. This is actually only used for staff members. Hey look, a generator in the Cantu Queer Center. The Cantu Queer Center and KZSC both house, well, the Queer Center and KZSC. KZSC ends up housing the radio stations that UCSC, uh, radio stations and radio classes over here at UCSC. Right over here is the Cantu Queer Center. And over here is KZSC. There are two separate buildings. Uh, radio, queer. And y'all are probably wondering what this giant building right here is. This is actually Merrill A dorm. So Merrill dorms, unlike Crown dorms, actually have elevators, as well as a, they actually have a similar spread of rooms, although quads are extremely rare at Merrill. So there's more triples, doubles, and singles than there are quads. And it's really pretty because they have the really cool glass. And that's what's called the Merrill A Bridge. So if you're walking from the top up there, you can go ahead and cross. The only way to get into Merrill dorms are with these really, really fancy little doodads right there. You tap your ID card, you can get in. I'm also going to back up and show you, because this is actually what's called the Merrill Moat. This is where all the wonderful murals happen. Each of these murals were painted by alumni well, now alumni. At the time, they were graduating seniors. It's 
really cool because so many people worked really hard on all of these. And it's something that everyone should see, truly. Like if you ever go to UCSC, the one thing I want you to do is take a look around for the art. Because there are some gorgeous pieces here. I'm honestly flabbergasted. I'd also recommend pausing and reading each one of these murals. So I'm trying to go as slow as possible. This is absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, some of these murals are needing some redecoration or restoring. And this blank wall right here is where our class is supposed to go. Class of 2021. Also, this is not a parking garage. Pass the moat. Don't be afraid. It's garbage! This is actually where you put all of your trash and whatnot from your dorms. You can come down here and put it. Right over there, that building is actually separate from this one. So this is Merrill A, that's Merrill B building. Let's go ahead and loop around. Because there are some more murals that you guys should see here. This is also a continuation of the moat. So right over here are the Merrill College Academic Building and the mailroom. So here is the Merrill mailroom. This door is usually open where you go ahead and get packages. As well as there are more locked boxes where you may also end up sharing with a student depending on how many students are on campus. Merrill Academic Offices where you can get your sticker for the new quarter as well as uh, academic advising. As I float on over this way, this is what's called Merrill Circle. So if anyone ever says, please meet me at Merrill Circle, this is where you go. Also, I'm going to show you guys the really cool murals that are here. Like UCSD has a, a lot of art. A lot of art. And this is just Crown Merrill. Over at Porta Kresge, there's even more. Look at these. Absolutely gorgeous. plaque for this. Hopefully it's readable. And unfortunately a lot of these things end up getting worn away with time. And in that parking lot over there, over to the right where that silver car is, there's a secret hidden path that'll take you to the Chadwick Gardens, which, yes, has cats! Although please don't go there right now because there's, you can't really social distance there because everything's really cramped. Also another thing about UCSC, there are paved paths that are really like secluded sometimes. And so I'd recommend just wandering around campus if you wanna find your way. Here's the back of Merrill B building. I believe this is Merrill C building. So over here is the Merrill Computer Lab, where you can go in and print things if need be. Over here, some really cool parking lots. So I'm going to show you guys the entrance to the path. There's the Chadwick Gardens. I'll actually, probably take you guys there. Why not? 
So I know I said stay off non-beaten paths, but as you can see, it's a path. It's a beaten path. Another way to get here is you could follow the road, but that's more dangerous, honestly. So here is emergency assembly area. If there's fire, you come here, it's Chicago Gardens. Staff only entrance where you should not be entering if you're a student. Usually they have wonderful selection of succulents when they sell them. Uh, also, this is commonly where the Crown Merrill Dining Hall ends up getting their fruit and vegetables. They get them from the farm and other places around campus, including this one. And actually, the Chadwick Garden was started by Crown Alumni, although it's technically hosted over at Merrill. Those who work at the, Crown, the Chadwick Gardens also uh, to harvest food for themselves. So if you do go to the gardens, we do request that you don't take any food for yourself because that feeds the people that work those gardens. And it's a really nice place to go there and study. I believe at the moment there's only one cat there named Posey, named after Giants baseball player. Uh, I'm a Dodgers fan because I'm from Los Angeles. So I don't know if I agree. But you know, I love the cat. The Provost House for Merrill is also down that way. Which I can go ahead and take you to. Over there is Casa Latina, residence halls, and the computer lab. So there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you to the Provost House. And so I just wanted to show you guys actually some of the parking over here at UCSC. So we'll commonly see at parking lots. Mobile permits are required. Park mobile app. It's temporary parking spaces. Uh, you can usually just pay for however much. I highly recommend though, if you're gonna stay here, like, you know, for quarters and stuff, that you obtain a permanent parking. And you can find that over at the TAPS website. That's where the garden is. Right over here, little hidden part of the woods. Now for all stuff. I will not move past this because I would not like to trespass. Technically not trespassing, but for all stuff. There will also be events hosted there too by the Merrill Provost. They're super chill, kind of fun. God, I love going to school here. Nature here is just gorgeous. Now, we go ahead and go back to the Casa Latina and Vivas. It is a Mexican restaurant that's hosted here at Merrill College. I am from Los Angeles and I am Latino, so it's decent enough. It's got a good taste at home sometimes. Over here. Viras restaurant. This is called Merrill Lawn. It's really pretty and it's commonly where there are stargazing events. It's pretty cool. Back at the office. And usually, you can take a shortcut right through those two doors. Just cut straight across so you don't have to go around. But right now, Unfortunately, it's closed, so I do have to go around. I'm gonna go ahead and head down this way, away from the cultural center. This will you the Charles E. Merrill Lounge in Casa Latina. This building right here. It's Charles E. Merrill Lounge. This is where a lot of events happen. Pretty cool. Over here is the Merrill Faculty Annex, more of the politics department. 
which you also go and you can see by there is there. That's it. So in right here, which I would love to show you guys, unfortunately it is closed, is Casa Latina, the Merrill College Library, and other like research centers and uh, other student activities. Uh, it's actually super duper cool and awesome. And uh, whenever things start in person, go for it. I'm actually gonna end the tour right here over at Casa Latina. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, fears, anxieties, please contact uh, the Merrill Programs Office or the Merrill Academic Office, all at merrill.ucsc.edu. Uh, and thanks so much. See y'all.